just woke up. It's、uh, March 25th,、uh, but in Iran it's February 6th. So it's my birthday in Iran, but not in here because my, my international birthday is March 26th. And my mom is like, Happy Iranian birthday, but not the international one. <laughs> so this is a s l a n j a k And they basically look like a place filled with food, clothes, and everything else. You just keep walking in. You, if you want to eat something, you eat. If you want to like, buy something, you find something eventually. Like, this is a drug shop, drug store. And this is a coffee shop. There's a place that has bomba and boyus, and everyone says that if you go to i s m i r you have to buy it from there. So we're heading there to buy it and see what's the hype about. So, this is the place. We asked for Bomba and also for Boyuz, both of them are very famous in Izmir. These are the Bombas. Each one of them h a v e a different taste. And this is Boyuz, something else that you need to try in Izmir. We just got tickets for Saljuk and our train just came. We're at a place called Koytape、uh, and we're waiting for another train to come. Three stations from here is Saljuk.、Uh, and after that, we're just gonna hang out and see where to actually go because there are a lot of places close to Hephaestus we can visit. This is s a l j u k the entrance. A lot of people have sat down. This is the way to St. John. The city has a very weird atmosphere, but it's very windy today. I asked if it was windy every day. Apparently, it's not. It's just the day we're coming. Anywhere you go in Seljuk, there are ruins from something. It's really interesting. Check this out. <laughs> They have a nest. Even the trees are interesting. I'm not sure where we're going. Just want to check out the place. Look at him going down. آره من فکر کنم اگه آل تو جلو رو بزنیم با کنترل میتونیم اون لبه ای اونو بگیریم حالا بقیهش رو با آلت میپریم یه بنایی بوده که گریک ها ساختن یونانی ها که دفکشن های خیلی اروز داشته یعنی مربوط می شده به خدای عشق چه چرچه مثلا توی افسس بوده تنینش اگر Thank you. 
baptism. We're getting closer to the castle, part of the church. Yeah, apparently water used to come from here. I am terrified of the height. So coming up here was a real challenge, but we made it, and it's really windy today. You have no idea how my legs are shaking. <laughs> Not to self, don't ever go anywhere when the wind is like this, especially if it's too high. <laughs> Artemis te Temple. This is just the entrance. This is a tomb. So for the Temple of Artemis, the only thing left is like, the only thing left is this one. FSS بوده بزرگ تنینش اگر شرچ آرتمس رو چیز نکنید تمپل آرتمس رو کانت نکنید and this is where the temple of Artemis is located right now it's just the ruins you can tell it used to be pretty so uh, we were kind of late so we ended up asking for a taxi to take us to uh, the Virgin Mary's house uh, the thing is, it's very far away and I actually wouldn't recommend you coming here by feet and at a time this was like our only option. So right now we're at the entrance and the taxi driver is gonna wait for us to look around in here and once we're done, we're gonna go back and then enter, enter Ephes, uh, Ephesus and then we're gonna like spend a few hours in there just so I can hang out and once we're down, uh, I'll keep you updated. I'm still gonna keep you updated. Huh. 
Şimdi biz buradan hı hı. bu yol güzergah üzerinde bu Efes'in haritası. Aha. Biz böyle geleceğiz. Hı hı. Buradan yukarıya Meryem Evi'ye gideceğiz. Şu hı. yol var ya şu yol. Hı hı. Şuraya. Hı hı. Evet. Meryem Ana'nın evine gideceğiz. Hı hı. Ben orada bekleyeceğim sizi hı hı. yarım saat. Daha sonra sizi oradan aşağıya gezerek Efes'in giriş kapısına bırakacağım. Tamam. Bütün gruplar buradan bırakır. Bakın otobüsler burada bekliyor. Hı hı. Burası çünkü çıkış kapısı. This is the statue of the Virgin Mary in the entrance. This is the entrance. There is a coffee shop in there. There is a gift shop. You are not allowed to actually get inside. There's a statue here. Mama. is allowed inside so I'm just gonna like take it from here uh, so this was what was inside it's in the uh, book but we couldn't really take any pictures I'm assuming because it's a whole place now some people put on candles in here to wish this is a gift shop it's full of crosses and statues of the Virgin Mary. <laughs> we we'll get water from here. It's, it looks like there are wishes connected on this wall. We went from that side for the entrance because the house is out there. And here you can see picture is related to Christianity. The taxi left us here. Now we're gonna enter Ephesus. So we just got in. Just be warned for international people, the tickets are very high. It's like 1,388 Taylor at a time. Uh, so come here with a lot of cash. So when you come inside, this is the VUC. Some people ask for tours, so they're being explained. We really wanted to be free when it comes to the same things. So Agar used to be like this, apparently. What you're seeing is this. The ruins, basically. It's so hard to imagine. So apparently this is Odin's concert hall. Odin's concert hall is actually so hard to imagine. So, as you can see, the wind is like crazy. Apparently we can actually enter through here for Odin's concert hall. There's 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 this yeah, here too. We can go through it later, but for now my family just to start from here. Let's go up here. Wow. <laughs> I'm not actually scared of this place. <laughs> I was scared of the other place. This is the view from up here. <laughs> Now we get here. 
شبیه تخت جمشید I'm assuming it should be something like this. That was where Odin's home was. Now we're going this way. I'm trying to be imaginative and actually think about what it must have been. It's so hard. I'm a very imaginative person and you know, we literally have a guidebook. But I can't really guess what this used to be it's actually really hard i'm assuming that in summer it must be a little bit easier to go through all this but it's also much more crowded right now since you see the, the wind it's not bad i like it i'm spring but uh it is a little bit scary when you go up there this is temple of state of agora Now we're reaching this place. I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming it must have been like some sort of jail. So this is a fountain apparently, based on what my brother is saying. He doesn't like the book, he says he gets confused. He relies on this. So this is a place with a lot of inscriptions. Okay, so it looks like a jail. You can see the Greek inscriptions. I'm really glad I'm not born around that time. Imagine actually being thrown there. Is it possible for people to still like be thrown? places like that just rot die sounds brutal I've never seen my brother this excited for everything for anything so this is uh, the Demotian temple dedicated to the king or the emperor at a time in front of the gate, this is the gate. Uh, this tree is the temple of Demetian. It's spring, but it hasn't actually bloomed yet. But apparently, it used to look like this. But now, there's only the tree. She looks pretty. Looks like an angel. Apparently, this used to be like this. Like, there would be no way I could guess that. I have no idea how people even guess this. Just another fountain. Oh, wow. You need to be really careful in here. I almost fell like three times now. You need to play a game called What It Used To Be. And you're still gonna lose. <laughs> used to be a very famous street. Imagine people in the past used to walk past this. Apparently this is the Hercules gate that leads to the road. Looking at the tourists is like the most fun I have in here. Cause like, what is everyone doing? <laughs> So this was where the Hercules place was and this is the road, people would shop in here and I actually have to be careful with the way I walk here because we go down but you can actually imagine each one of these being one of the shops and the road is pretty cool too. Like, do you see this street in the past? This is how it looks now. This is how it looks in the past and this is how it looks right now. Can you guess? Oh my god. So this is for Artemis. An emperor actually built it. 
Yeah, nothing is left. This is what we're gonna go and see. But this is apparently the ruins of an old bathhouse. And yep. Mm -hmm. It does look like a bath, like, you know, places that people sit on. There was probably water in here. You can actually tell. And that is where the statue was. It was such a big bath. <laughs> and you see the little guys. Temple of Hadrian. This is how it looks now. There's statues up there. And right now, it's just this. Imagine. Imagine this is supposed to be a bathroom. Like in the future, before I'm gonna probably be like, oh my god, this is used to be. Like, this used to be their bathroom. So you're telling me this is how the bathrooms were in the past? And this is the library of Celsius. Apparently this is how it used to look like. And now this is it. And this is inside of the library. <laughs> there was a lake in my book. And apparently it's this and it's really like protected. It's, it's really interesting. This is the grand theater. And this is how it actually looks like. It's huge, so much bigger than the first one. Based on this, this is what was remained from it all. And then they actually remade it all. I think there's a museum in here because that's what it says in here. My brother went off, so I'm just gonna go up to you. Yeah, there's another way to the Grand Theatre. From, yeah, I was on the other side when I took the video. So the stairs took us up and my fear of heights started again. It wasn't going up there. I don't know. Come on, come on, let's go. There are even black crowds over there. Can you see it? So we finally finished going through it all and at the end of it there are like just bathrooms and some gift shops and there is an emergency service we're finally done with it it was a very interesting day a tire a tiresome one we walked a lot but honestly it was fun so once we were done, we wanted to eat at this Korean restaurant, we didn't want to actually go to Seoju. So we ended up walking there, but on our way there, it started raining, but luckily a couple actually waited and took us in and got us to the Korean restaurant. So it didn't work out because it was actually closed, but then the rain stopped and we ended up coming to a place called Agora. Uh, it looks like a good restaurant, we haven't really tried anything yet, but I can't wait to eat because we walked for so long and we're just so hungry too. These are the masses they brought. I also got a salad. It looks appetizing, I don't know if I'm just hungry or if it's appetizing. up raining really heavily and when we tried to get a ticket for our way back 
they didn't have it until an hour and a half later so we got it and then uh, we got back uh, to a sweet shop for some sweets and tea to wait for our train uh, now it's really close to our time to get back to the train so we're just on our way there